Hello viewers and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. In the last video, we rescued Louie from the Scornet Maestro. And uh, here we are on the ship afterward, and they still think this guy is Olimar. Little did they know, it's our friend Louie. Olimar hasn't woken up since we brought him aboard. Hey, I know that spacesuit. It puts you into a deep sleep if you experience any big surprises. That seems counterintuitive. Well, maybe if it's like a heart attack level of surprise, it can save your life, but... Weird. I missed an entire surprise birthday party once because of those suits. <laughs> that is hilarious. I, I just love that he says that. What are we supposed to do now? Would you mind keeping it down? Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We need to get him to tell us where the cosmic drive key is. And in order for him to do that, we need him to wake up on his own. Let me try slapping him. <laughs> yes, do it! No, no. Trust me, we can't do anything once that suit kicks in. We just need to keep an eye on him. I see. Sorry, I'm like... I'm, I'm like reading this and also replying to a text at the same time. It's, it's crazy. The next morning... Getting a lot of time cards here. It's kind of fun. Oh, what the fuck? Louis? Oh my god! He exploded! What was that noise? What is happening? Where did this ground come from? Why aren't we in the air? I can't even take a quick snooze without something going haywire. It seems like it. This is bad. Olimar's disappeared. And your rubber ducky has also gone AWOL, Captain. What did you say? Did Louis steal the rubber duck? It's even worse than that. He's run off with our juice! Yes! That villainous pig. At this point in the game, I'm, I shit you not. All of our juice is gone. We need to hunt him down. So if you look in the upper right corner, you can see we literally have zero juice. Uh... If the day ends now, we'll get a game over and starve to death. So we gotta be very careful. But you can see... We've landed in a familiar area. We are back in the Garden of Hope. And if we go over here... There's a path. Our food must be this way. I will not let him escape. Yeah, uh, a new area has opened up to us. Which is pretty surprising. We'll throw three Pikmin on that pole weed here. Grab this data file. Get to work on this wall. Check to see what's going on here. And what do you know? We found yet another onion. You guys have probably been waiting for this one. <laughs> it was so close this whole time. Hello, little fella. It's the blue Pikmin. And they're as cute as ever. A new type of Pikmin spouted from the onion that was in the water. This Pikmin seems right at home underwater. Also, I do realize the error of my ways. I need to put back some Pikmin or else I can't grow any blue Pikmin. So I'm just gonna do that. I don't know what Pikmin to get rid of though. Maybe yellow, since there's... I don't think there's any electricity up ahead. What if I'm wrong, though? Now there is electricity in this area, for sure. Well, let's get rid of the reds. I don't think there's any, like, pyroclasmic sluches around, which is, like, really the only thing that requires red Pikmin. Even if there's fire, we can avoid it with the other types. Also, maybe we don't need 25 rock Pikmin. Let's bring that down to like, I don't know, 10.
That's so funny. Oh my god, that's so funny. I was wondering why I was at 24 winged Pikmin when I know I brought out 25, and it's because in order for the blue Pikmin to sprout for the tutorial, they had to put one Pikmin back. That is so funny. So the game just removed one winged Pikmin for that blue Pikmin to come out. That's so funny. Alright, well... I think I like these numbers. I'll just throw Alf into the water here. Let's see, what can I do here? If I throw one Pikmin- no, stop! I want the blue to get this. Well, he can't. There's only one of them. Let's just get this bread built. I've got that. I'm glad that Blue Pikmin's the slowest, so I can call him back as soon as he delivers this piece. If you call Pikmin back when they're carrying a bridge piece, it'll just vanish and go back to the pile. So... That's how that works. Um... Kill that, uh, Spectralid. There's a data file underneath the... the thing? That's crazy. Well, we have an area hint here. A legacy of the past. We discovered the remains of what appears to be an underwater structure. Perhaps we can restore it so that we may cross to the opposite shore. Louis is here, but we would still need someone else's help to do this. Captain Olimar. Fascinating. Yeah, that's for another area. Probably won't make sense out of context, but we did find an Olimar log, so let's go ahead and read that. Louis has become even more problematic. All he does is nod or shake his head, and yet he consumes three times the amount of food that I do. Not cool, Louis. Not cool. Dude, I swear to God, if he's eating the fruit juice right now, that is not cool. Alright. the yellows on that, because they're the fastest diggers. But I'm not going to have the yellows take it. I'll give it to the blues when they're done. This is actually taking a while to dig up. Damn. That bridge isn't even complete. Alright, guys. No, no. That's for the blues. I'm going to position Charlie over here to take care of this electric gate, now that we have yellows here for the first time. I know, crazy, right? We've never been here with yellows, I don't think. <laughs> Alright. You five can immediately get on this. Uh, what do I want Brittany to do? It's a good question, actually. I'll have her stand by here. Since I don't have that many yellow pigmen, I think I might use an Ultra Spices Ray to take care of this enemy here. Yes! Power them up! The pigmen are really fired up now. The Ultra Spicy Essence seems to make them stronger. Use Ultra Spicy Nectar to invigorate Pikmin and boost their attack power. Oh yeah. Kill it. Nice. And you might as well go on this gate and break it down super fast. That'll be awesome. Here we have a squid type thing. It actually can eat Pikmin as well as spray ink in defense, but we killed it faster than uh, it could react, thankfully. And here's the rest of the bridge pieces. Nice. I feel like Brittany's not doing much right now. There's a strawberry in the water there. Can't forget, I definitely need food, or else I'll die when the day ends. I can charge the winged pickin on that, and that has fruit underneath it, I'm fairly certain. Is 
Got the sound of the bridge finishing. Oh no, that's probably Charlie's Gate. Here, so I'll uh, put myself here. I'll have Alf go to the Onion to pluck the blue Pikmin. And I'll have Charlie. See, I'm multitasking. I'm multitasking, alright? I want to shoot fire and then we'll charge that spot. Oh, but I called them back too, way too soon. Oh no! This isn't going how I want. Get back! No! Oh, that's not going to go well. There's probably a more time efficient way to do this with just yellow pick, but. Kill him, kill him. One more charge, one more charge. Oh, if you guys would not catch on fire in the process! Okay. Get this fruit, please. <laughs> Alright, I got all the blue pigment I can need right now. But I still want more. Whoops. Right, get the spectral lid. Come back. You losers. Alright. We'll have Brittany cross the bridge here, see what we can find. Wow! Another new enemy. I forget what these are called. In the original Pikmin 3 uh, release, when you locked onto an enemy, it would tell you their name in the corner. I don't know why they got rid of that. I like being able to see their names. Oh, wow, you guys went way too far. I'm just trying to pop these bubbles. Yeah, that enemy traps Pikmin in bubbles. It's hilarious. Yeah, go ahead and get on that. We'll push this 20 box. Damn. Right overboard. Here we have Puckering Blinnos. I remember that name because it's hilarious. But they'll swarm your Pikmin and eat them. We just gotta kill it with the blues. Please? Oh, look at Leap! Damn. Kill the Blinno. Alright. Get the strawberry. And y'all can get on this wall here. I'm multitasking, guys. I'm doing it. I'll send Brittany back to the base here. How's Charlie doing? Why did five of you go back to Charlie instead of carrying the fruit? I'm so mad at you guys. That's okay. It doesn't waste that much time. Oh my god! Did you see that yellow Pikmin tumbling around? That was insane! He was spin dashing. Okay. Come on back. Come on back. This is looking good. Oh wow, they're almost done with this. I'm impressed. Any second now. Nice, nice. I'm liking it. There's some winged Pikmin left behind here. I'll call you guys back. Take care of that uh, octopus. Oh, there's two! So in this game, the blue Pikmin can actually swim. It's hard to see there, but they actually are able to... Uh, in a way, they can kind of fly. As long as it's like underwater, if that makes sense. Like, they're not bound to the bottom of the ocean floor. Or the water floor, rather. They can swim up to the enemies like they just did. Alright, so I'm gonna take Brittany and these yellow Pikmin, as well as Charlie, I guess, to kill this thing. Alright. Could have been worse. Oh, guys, come back. Yeah, as always, fire's not very dangerous in this game. 
I kind of wish it was more dangerous in the Pikmin series in general, but... Oh well. Let's go ahead and kill this toady bloister for peace of mind. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's actually a new technique the bloister has in this game that wasn't in Pikmin 2. The ability to, uh, poison Pikmin with an ink explosion. Which is crazy to me. We're gonna be carrying things through here, I believe, so I do want to take out these yellow Wallywogs. As long as we, uh... Oh shit. Oh shit, kill him! Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're doing alright. Throw the blues on that. You guys are good there. I'm actually going to have the group temporarily reunite here, because I think there's a puzzle coming up that requires three captains. And it's right through here. We came through here a long time ago. Day two or three, I believe. But now we need to come here again, because we have new Pikmin types. I am going to have to wait here, is the sad part. Because I do need all three captains here. Maybe not, though. There is a way to cheat this, and I feel bad doing it. But I'll try it. I don't know, like, should I cheat this? Or should I do it the way you're supposed to? Maybe I'll do it the way I'm supposed to. Oh, but I don't know if I—I don't even know if I have time for that. Honestly. Now nah, cheat it. <laughs> I'm out of time. I feel bad, but we're supposed to use three captains to get this fruit. But you can just charge the, the winged Pikmin at this. <gasps> oh no! I forgot they might have fixed that. Oh, <gasps> they might have fixed it. Hold on. I need the, the charge cycle to be short, and then maybe it'll work. No, get it! Get up there, you can do it! Maybe if I go at an angle? Oh, dude. They don't let me cheat anymore. That's kind of good. Like, I'm disappointed, but I'm also not disappointed, because it's kind of cheap to just skip a puzzle, because the Pikmin can fly. Glad it worked out that way. Pikmin and Danger are right here, so I'm not worried. We'll have Brittany work with them. Is there anything else I can do before the day ends? Not... Not really. Not especially. I can sprout more blue Pikmin, I guess. By carrying back these bodies. I don't even know if they'll make it to the onion time, but we can try. We partially rebuilt this, uh, this fine china here. But it seems like there's still some parts unaccounted for. Oh, carry faster, guys, please. Y'all making me nervous. As long as I get in the circle of the onion. Dude, I don't know. I don't think I'll make it. Once I've been faster to go through the water, am I crazy? I really don't think they're going to make it. Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it. Come on back, guys. Does that count? Is that going to give me Pikmin? But, th but does that count? I guess I'll know if I return tomorrow and I find Sprouts there. That's an interesting question. I'm looking forward to see if the Sprouts made it. Did I lose any Pikmin today? I don't think so. 
Thank God I found fruit, or I would have gotten a game over by now. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't forget the importance. Damn, the onion's gonna evolve again here. It's increased in size again. You don't think the Draco can absorb too, do you? No, I don't think there's any danger of that. Well, probably not. Hopefully. <laughs> this one's really tasty. No new fruit, but that's okay. As long as we get one glass of juice, we're safe, guys. Easy. We are not starving to death today. No siree. My headcanon is that they're always on the verge of starving. So if they go one day without food, they're just like not gonna have enough energy for the following day and they die. <laughs> Kinda dark, but uh we did find fruit, so we're we're golden. Sweet. Look at how depressing this is though. Look at this. Ugh, just think about how much juice we had this time yesterday. We had a whole wall of it. And now we just have five jars. How did Louis carry all that juice? Curse that hokitation. Yeah, what a fucked up dude. What is he thinking? Why would he do this? Good. We still have plenty of juice left. All right, lost no Pikmin today. We have over 200 red Pikmin, that's craziness. Oh, I wonder if the replay will show me if the Pikmin made it at the very end. That's, uh, where's the blue onion? There it is. Kind of doesn't look like they made it. Oh well. Oh well. Day 11. Blue Onion was only able to produce a single blue Pikmin. I wonder if that took its last bit of strength. Thank goodness we were able to dig the onion out. The blue Pikmin may very well have been on the verge of extinction. Alf. Yes, so interesting theory time. In Pikmin 1, the Pikmin were on the verge of extinction, and all of our crash landing happened to save their lives. Because if you remember, they were all dead and the onions were shut down until Olimar dug it out and repopulated the Pikmin. And then in Pikmin 2, the Pikmin were thriving. Like, when you find the Pikmin in Pikmin 2, they're kicking ass. They're beating up enemies, they're they're populous, the onions are active, things are going good for them. In this game, it kind of seems like they're on the verge of extinction again, because every time we find an onion, it's in dire straits, there's barely any Pikmin alive, and it needs us to build them back up. It's like a vicious cycle, so thank god we're here. I guess the wildlife evolved too much for them to handle since we've been gone. But that is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.